way down ladder perhaps no no they are bailing into the brown halls it's some fake utility then they're gonna come on through they've actually spent all of it they're coming out dry on towards the site and that might be a bit of a mistake as rops is now getting a chance to punish and the rotations are coming in before that bomb spawn down tap tap goes the usp and eventually down to the floor goes the mopaws three players alive they're gonna have to battle forward but smoolia is putting in the work here so we'll find another head and Suddenly, equalized on the numbers, and a flank coming in, Dexter, he's been spotted, he's been collected. Such a good setup for Mouse Sports, it seemed, but it's all going wrong. It's all going awry, and now it's come down just to the guns and the A-Core. He's gotta do all the work himself, he's flanked out, he's pincered in. I swear there was another one back there, I think all the way back to the baby. Close up, here comes the hit, Smooya. Gets one, but the pistol's getting in on the action. They've got the sight lines with these players trying to get out of utility. Rosen, missed opportunity there. That could have been a real gut punch. Now they're starting to clean up the site, but Vimas has something to say about it. Vimas has something to say about it for sure, and Rops is making his way down ladder, so life's going to get very difficult. They're in a killing zone. Be very uncomfortable with it. Another tag in. More damage being done, but Rops collected. Puts all the pressure on the Vimas. He's been good, can't connect on both. They play together as a unit really nicely, throwing a little bit of a fake and then trying to pincer her back in towards spawn, which I should be held for by BMS. This could get very dangerous. This could be bad. They're executing. Here comes the hit. Okay, no, it's fine. Maybe? Should be fine. Yeah. Okay, no problem here. Cleaned up. Excuse me. Bemis will have another opportunity with the Deagle to try and connect some shots. He doesn't land that on the steel, but he's not long for this world. They've got decent nades. They are lacking a kit though, so if the bomb goes down, that'd be an issue. To retake definitely wouldn't be easy. But they may not need to worry about that. Already an opening kill snatched up by Had Crepto all the way behind the green train on that Mac 10. And it's been a, a pretty big nuisance right now as they're being forced on the CT Ooh, side to push through the Demas. smokes. And they've traded positions. Smooya has no idea. I tried to do it for you, Mike. I couldn't say it like you do. Doesn't flow for me as well. Oh, he didn't spot it surely. Yeah, Beam has seen him. That's the final player now. They'll all focus. He has zero hope of doing anything with a Mac 10 from the back lines. It's just, you know, okay, you, you, gotta, you gotta know where it comes from. Acorn gets a kill. That's nice. Speaking of where it comes from, comes from that off. Oh, oh, the angle from Opaz. How does he not get that kill? Oh, that's so frustrating from Opaz. Frozen with the turn and the shot to the dome. There's even a player immediately there for the trade, but they don't even need the trade. And now they're all stuck up in the brown halls and control's been taken by Rops. And he's just gonna chill here. Why not? They're gonna have to battle him if they even want to get out. He's sitting by the lockers and he's trying to store some stuff, but he's not even gonna be content. Rops just pushing forward, finding a slew. Yep. Getting destroyed by Alex, but now Alex is the last player alive. Being pushed on upper here. The eagle on hand, okay. Maybe he has the headshot lined up. No, the diamond. Never mind. Free kill for Dexter. Off if he wanted to go to the second one. I almost prefer him on a rifle, just because of his ability to be such a position that he can work himself into. Ooh. Oh, he's the overwhelm onto the bomb train. Bemus is putting in work towards Ivy, and Acor's managed to survive, and they get away with no casualties. The positioning looked so dangerous. Looks like those pistols were No, they're not really needed, usually. <laughs> yeah. The climate doesn't require it. Here we definitely go. Frozen gonna get to Easy peasy. Ladder room snatched, locked. Padlocked. Chain across the door, and they're not getting through. And it doesn't seem like they're gonna get much luck out of Teton either. Now just down to two players. Never mind, make that just a smooya. And he doesn't even get to escape? What is this for Mouse Sports? Merciless! Where are we going to upper? We'll see how this round goes, but every time I watch this Mouse Sports team, I just think, I really love the way this squad is built. I just love the way this team is built. Dexter gonna get a couple of kills. And maybe a bomb plan here? Okay, they did get the bomb plan. Mission, mission successful. Money secured, but a fifth round for Mouse Sports and... So what do they do? Where do they temper their aggression? Acor, holy cow. All right, never mind. Not tempering the aggression. They're going more aggressive. And here's the position for Dexter. Dumb. He's going to catch two. Different spot, but Rops is lost. And with Rops down, he's going to back out, and he knows it. But now they found IV control. That's so much information. Ooh, he was shooting a little bit there. And they've got two on B, so they, they seem to think that it's not going to be this A hit, which, again, could catch them off guard. Now, from main, they oh, line no. up. Easy peasy for Frozen. He's got himself, too. And while Smoo is the one frozen in fear right now, as he's in the one on four. Again, that player should be called back from Ivy. He's actually going for a long flank. Never mind. Smoo even gets blinded up and hits the flick on Frozen. Low health player finished, but again, he doesn't expect the player coming in from behind. So Acor ready for the trade. It's remaining. They need to get moving. And let's see, Beamaz, what can he do? Nate, nice he, hears a, he hears a landing. That's quite a bit of damage, but he's not able to do anything. Blinded up. 
left with no vision and no chance, no hope. Instead, his teammates need to go huge. And, well, the time is definitely becoming a bit of an issue right now for Mavi Star. As they just continue to get picked off, they've only got 20 seconds to get these kills and get onto the bomb site. And they just keep on being toppled by Rock specifically, who's on top of that bomb site, just making it look easy. I'm gonna fall back while already tagged slightly. Either way, Rops knows they're coming over now. He could be in for a world of hurt here in a moment. They're gonna come through. The pop flash doesn't work. Oh, he's got one. He's got two. He's got three. No, Acor helped him out for the third. I was gonna say, I don't even know where that came from. But they are gonna get a bomb plant out of this. Not much more. One player remaining. Mollied out. Smuya. Yeah. He's forced into the zone. Gonna die. They've got one player holding back Ivy. They're putting a bit of pressure on fake. B now. But that is the fake, as you said. Because the bomb back in main. And they do not manage to get past the Rops. He kills one, instantly realizes now, I'd imagine, that there's no other steps. There's no one else showing themselves. Get ready on A, buzz. They didn't flinch. Dexter down to 1 HP. Oh, but Smuya caught sleeping at the wheel. Didn't expect the player towards the E-Box. Now maybe there's some problems. They've gotten out. They've gotten forward. That's a huge kill for Steel. That could give them access to the bomb site. As you said, 10 seconds to go. Ho oh, ho, they better get this bomb down now. But they have succeeded. They have succeeded. A core clearing out Ivy actually missed a chance for the kill shot on Mopuck. He went P250 and now he's dead. Rops, 1v3. No issues with the money. He can comfortably go for this. And he will. And he will comfortably die. So there we go. Movie stars have cracked on A. As I was trying to say before, Acor shut me right up. Maybe a bit predictable for Frozen. But this time he's playing further back. They drop down into it, expecting him close up. And he kills. Shocks. Seems like even if they know he's there, he's still going to get the better of them more often than not. So he's going to come to clear. Pressure on to Bemus. Bemus has been pretty good on this. So he's going to clear for him, and there's the kill. Thankless life of an IV player. Flashbang out. Oh, a tag. Not a kill, though. Ichi would be nice here, but not available for Acor. He's trying to retake his face. Steel coming from Tcon catches Frozen, getting a bit aggressive. And suddenly, life's getting dangerous, but Acor! He thrives in the danger. He lives in the danger. He for it. And he's continuing to collect bodies. Third kill found for Acor. Puts into a 1v3 for Suya, who's now been spotted and been dropped. Round secured for Mouse Sports. Line becomes quite within reach. So let's see how things go. Another drop down Pop Dog again individually. I feel like they're just giving Frozen whatever opportunities he wants in this area. I'm surprised they haven't strange. gone for the, you know, shoulder drop, drop off. Oh, oh, he still, oh, gets, oh, he still gets a kill. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. Rops dies, though, without further. And he got one. And now the flank comes in, so this is actually fine. A-OK, -okay, zero real risk. And as Alex tried to work his way forward to find that initial fish. Have the flank on. There is a player in Pop Dog. Is it being watched for? No, it's not. Shox has already got the opening kill as well, so this should be a cleanup potentially for Movistar. It's a solid start. Mopo's ideally should stay alive here. If he could have just kept control of Pop Dog, kept him trapped in, basically, that would have been the play. But I guess he also had Alex here, which I did not realize. So they've still got a, a pretty similar setup, but suddenly it's a three on three. That, well, can go either way. You're seeing most sports slowing things down, looking for picks, overrunning steel on the bomb site eventually. And Comes the rap. Mouse sports is giving them nothing. Uh, Mouse sports is giving them nothing to work with here. No fights. But you must even wary that a player could be in towards Decon. He will get caught in the back of the head as a result, but they're still too alive, and time is whittling down. There's nothing that can really be done about this at this point. There's one back bomb train, there's one playing from ladder. They're really well positioned for it. Acor just playing ring around the rosy at this point. One, two, easy peasy control for him. Escapes before the second one at least comes true to, to finish him off, but still good damage early on on top of that one-man advantage and a good finish from Frozen. May even prompt this A split to start coming in now because they've got the players in position. Oh. It's another nice kill on the shocks. Now it gets very tough indeed. Nothing doing in this round. Tag for Steel or for Smuya, sorry. And he's gone. Not even a kill. The lower bracket final. A game to determine who makes the event. We'll be pushing a little bit to help with some of those RMR events. Those matchups. Okay, this round's a massacre. I just wanted to check the ramp to make sure his teammate was okay to come back around. Now they are going to funnel in towards the uh, He hit. There's the spot, but there's the kill for Mopaz. His little shoulder bait was just enough. Just enough. Get an edge over his opponent. Now there's going to come to hit out, but they've got no advantage here. Only 30 seconds. Smoke on towards the sidewalk. They're just going to come rock out for a hit. 
Molly down. Kills coming through. This is looking very good. Now the Lurker is caught. It's all onto Dexter. I barely even any damage was done to anyone but Steel, but you don't lose weapons here. Back. He's got a surely to time, and yep, gets Dexter. Acor. Was that after time? I don't think that was, but he could have got Acor after time. Chunky. Oh, right on the Rops. The Rops drops. Look at Dexter, though. They have no one watching this. Yeah, they had absolutely no one watching Sandwich. He actually gets himself a uh -oh. second, takes out Alex on Ivy. At least the op is finding some success there from Connector, and Shocks with pulling one back as well will equalize it again in the three on three. But this could still get incredibly dangerous. Rifle for Frozen. And you see Acar is creeping up in the Connector. There's no one watching it right now. He's only got the Glock, so a weapon would be useful. But maybe he can cut off the rotation and he's kept Shocks busy. Another entry comes in from Mouse Sports. If they win this round, I will cry for Movie Star. They don't even have to do it themselves. Smuya and Mopos, two of the the outstanding names you've got to say here on Mummy Star, but this clutch is still a lot to ask, even without those weapons. Opening kill, at least from Smuya. One up in heaven, I believe. No, sorry, they got the heaven player, so it's actually one in Pop Dog and one towards E Box. Well, Mopos has dealt with him. Now it's Beam as alone. Molly down, forces the peak, and there we go. Solid retake. Still, though, considering how how strong those two over there towards that ramp peak, or towards that Ivy peak, sorry, but here we go. Flashbang in from a teammate, and it's an elimination. Now Frozen holds the angle. Shock's trying to get around. That's not going to happen. That's not going to be the antidote. Shock's did recover the op, but only for a second. He got to touch it. Think about holding onto it. And then he was dead. So now major pressure out towards Ivy. This has been the answer for most sports for the last two rounds, and now they're looking to find map point. Pressure on, but still here. Into it. He may not be expected. Yes, he is. Dexter ready for it every day of the week. Three kills already on. No answer back from the Movistar Riders and Smuya and Mopaz. The money's not there anymore. They might be thinking about saving this, especially if the team wants to double up again. They might also just be avoided. They're not going to get a chance. Dexter walking up. One kill found. Clinical! Presence off of B and he's continuing to hold them. There's only one player in here. It's going to be Mopaz. And they've walked out. Mopaz has to go deep here. He will not find the first. Okay, this should be really tough for them to retake. Obviously, they have to. It all rides on this, but Amali Inn's going to even force them further back. Bleed some time off the clock, and now Rops has them all contained in Z. Like rats in a cage. They're going to have to come through, and this should be a massacre. B must takes one. There's more to find. There's more bunched up. It's Alex and Smuya, and how can they possibly hope to take this? Alex just hopping out to his death, trying something, anything. Smuya losing himself in the smoke, lost in the sauce, and it's going to be 16-8 to for Mouse Sports. They move up 1-0 in this series, snatch their opponent's map pick, and might just be rewriting the script of this best of three. From Movistar as well, player out towards the cement bags with a little bit of a peek over, and there's a boost from Alex. Here's going to be the distraction. There's a Molly that comes in for those cement bags. And unfortunately, the setup isn't finding anybody. Oh, no, they're swinging on. The stack is coming. A trap. Frozen comes away with all three kills. And now Mopaz stuck out towards the cement. It's going to be his tomb. It was a great setup, but it was read by Mouse Sports, and they just didn't... They've just got the deagles. They're about out of the util, but okay, just the deagles. Trey comes back through the shutter, but Alex will get one more. Very dangerous indeed. These players are out in the open. Alex doesn't even need to see to kill you. What's happening here? Alex stepping away with three huge kills, and Steel comes in for one more, and suddenly Rops is in a 1v4, and they've gained guns, they've gained weaponry, they've got the positioning, and there's 25 seconds left on the clock. First player found for Rops, but at the cost of half his health, deals with the flank as well, and Steel is low. This is still in the realm of possibility. They maybe want to back out and not give him this fight if they don't have to. Careful about the bullets here. Sits can still in. The Galil giving him many to work with, but Smuya... Lots of nades here. Shocks eats one. A bit of damage out. He's trying to find one. Dexter has to be a bit careful with that bomb. But no, they found the first pick. Dexter might go down on the edge of the smoke. I like what Steel's doing here. They have no idea. He's still here. They have no idea. He gets the kill eventually, but good golly, that took way too long. And now it's a 2v4. It's pretty tough here. Pretty tough for them to get back to the Mopaz. We'll try with the Deagle. We'll silence one more as they continue to try and just get this dang bomb down. But Frozen, once again, is here to polish it off. He's Ooh, nice kill by Rops on mid. This should be pretty straightforward. Think this one upgraded beacon 50. They line up for Beamaz. And that's nice to see because he was only, honestly one of the players struggling the last day as well. Well, was extreme Sahara racing. Mopaz can't win that fight. Smuya does get the trade at the very least, but now they know there's a player out with cement they want. They might want to press back into this. They come back into the A ramp again. Smuya gets the trade, but only a second after his teammate's been extinguished. Lurk 
could still be a play over. And speaking of a play over, well, look at this! Rops has found a kill on towards B. No need to go on towards A at all anymore. We found the site. Steel's gonna try and get back in. Aqua was lurking down on the other side, so the numbers have been equalized. And Steel out towards the HVAC system. Well, this could be bad. Rops has to clear. Rops has no idea he's here. And that puts it all onto Bemus. 40 seconds. Still would have time to actually rotate back around. Tag damage. No frag damage. At least just yet. That's where one player is, based on where the flash came from. Pretty good idea. The other jumping up, repositioning. That got awkward. Smuya's already making his path out, but here's the hole. There's the shot. Bemus with the clutch. A 1v2 secured. And danger is close. Can he hit one? If he does, he does get the first. He's able to fall away as well. Okay, well done for Shocks. They weren't looking for that. They were looking for him down low. Here's going to be the clear. Can't get any more. So three on three as the take comes through. But Samuya in position with this AWP could do some more damage. Try and drop the bomb. That distracts for a moment, but he still gets the kill. That was an out of play. And now finally, in a oh, I was going to say an advantage for the Movie Star Riders. But no, Samuya wanted to get in. And Acor was waiting, ready for that. There is a flank on from Steel. This 2v2 is possible they're actually both coming from the stairs but at least for now nothing's being given away uh, he does know the position of acor now he certainly knows it first shot hit acor in the 1v1 alex with an ak up but it's an op on the other side so that won't matter and he has no idea which way to look as much as i harp on how ridiculous it is how often teams go ramp when all else fails falling back into an a range is Nice for skill. Trades are there. B must keeping it in order. Now down to a 3v3, and they're going to move this bomb in to be planted. That can't be denied from Mouseport, so now this retake gets tough. Or sorry, from Movistar. So now this retake gets very tough. There is utility to try and get them back on it, though. So they're going to throw that over. Make that happen. Thank you, little mate. B must force forward by the Molly. It's burning his toes. He is now a wisp away from death, and a wisp he will be granted. Down he goes. Big kill, perhaps, for Frozen, but they gotta get the player off the bomb. They can't do it. That's the round one for Movie Star Riders. Successful retake. There we go. Not even feel bad about it. Steel holding off. Let's see if he can get one or two kills here. A smoke to help him out. He's gonna swing for the catwalk. Steel has the hero moment. Pressuring on. He's gonna get one. Shocks gets the second. The hold is good here for the B stairs. Acor starts to dismantle it, but it's Shocks. His hero moment has finally come. A big 3k for him in all to Frozen now. Frozen will find the first. Even just economic damage here is good for Frozen. 10 seconds on the clock. He cannot win this anymore. He just wants to kill on Smuya to take the AWP out of play. Bomb found. Not enough time. Bail. Don't die after time. Done the economic damage. They're not going to be able to retrieve that AWP. It means the bags. Not really barrels. And he will strike for the next. Okay, looking good for Movistar Riders. Yeah, especially considering how few nades they had and those weaker weapons. They get the early advantage to have a little bit of the pressure now off their shoulders. Instead, it's most sports who have to make the first move. And, well, they're going to go for it. Rock sneaking into the crosshair. Oh, Smoothie actually hits the shot. Smoothie falls. Mopo's sent back by the Molotov right into the crosshair. Rops with an easy spam on the low health player, and this is falling apart again for Movistar Riders. They've lost A, and they may have lost a lot of that hope that was starting to build up. Steel, can he give it back? Nice shot. Flash through so we can push up close on short, see if anyone is stuck around. Not quite the case. Beam has gone back to the alley and is being pushed down. I was going to say might have been caught, but he just about made it into the scaffolding and entrusts Rops then with locking down the bomb. He got caught. Did Mopa see that gun barrel? I think he did. Oh, there's a free kill. A second as well. Okay, Mopaz made this round a bit more interesting. The problem is no one else is in position to deny A. And Rops, meanwhile, is fighting kills out on the other end of the map. Smoogie so is going to get this up and keep it for the next round. Or he's going to get this up. Try and pull off some heroics here. Heroics it is. And he's... Gonna get the first, okay. Okay, spots the second as well. Gets the tag, has a molly for it. Op is now out. He must using the corpse's cover. Managed to bring down Smuya and prevent that from for a while on the position as well. So I think they may have even seen a bit of a shoulder perhaps earlier on. But let's see, what can be done now? Smuya, nice spam. Takes out Acor. Also does some follow-up damage on the Frozen, who he did spot for a moment. Oh, look how aggressive he's going. I'm very surprised he's decided to stick around in the open. Had known Frozen was close as well, but, well, Movistar, they just want to take all of these fights, and they're making it work for now. Rops is alone. 
If you want anyone in the clutch, though, Rops. He's the man. He's 17 and 8 right now as well. Don't give him any chances. And well, just hit. Now they are. Now they are. Okay, three players around this bomb making its way through. And they're kind of locked out, so it's going to be a retake all but confirmed for Mouse Sports. Oh, I love the play from Frozen. A little bit risky. And actually losing Acor as well means it's not really worth the risk. He was trying to deny that plant before the bomb goes down. It's a very cheeky play to make, but a tricky one. Now an advantage for Movistar with the bomb down with the post plant. Things are looking very good. No smokes to cover off for Mouse Sports. They're just going to have to take these fights. They do have one flashbang to facilitate it, but still got to get in with those peaks. And it's not working out for them, not working out at all. One player surviving, but Dexter against four Kendall. Here we go, entry in towards the site, it's looking better now. This is straight up. Oh, Frozen's hoping to just yeah. catch him from inside the smoke, but he's losing teammates while sitting here. Yeah, I don't know which he's gonna get Someone from it. Maybe Rops has got one, they have no idea. Frozen, he has a chance. He's gonna need to hit some quick headshots, and he's actually been spammed a bit there, but a wall bang may have been heard because of that even. And I like that Movistar slowed it down. They knew the smoke on the site could be a problem, guys. Let's wait a second, see what's up, and well, hopefully now find more success for Frozen. He's gotten Ooh. one, he's done good damage, and finished off Smuya. I know Shox is all alone. He has struggled throughout this entire series, and he can't do anything with only a second left on the clock. Don't get clocked. Oh, okay. sake, lads. Doesn't get clocked at the very least. That could have been miserable. It's not good for him. Okay, things are getting very interesting here. This is a great read. Go up the B stairs. Oh, kill comes through. Here we go. Now the action is starting here for the Movistar Riders. Rops trying to reposition, succeeding on the jump. Players making their way through. Rops has found the first. That drops the bomb as well. That should trigger the full rotation. But now it's just two. Rops, though, putting in the work. Rops. Three huge kills. Spots the next as well. They're both coming from the same direction now. And Rops doesn't even want to let them escape. They've backed away, but that means they've left him the bomb. He's out of bullets, but he's got a teammate now. Bmos can come in and help him out with the work. A little light lifting for Rops. He's done so much work. He's left it to Bmos in a 1v2. Out in the open. And Bmos cannot see it through. A heroic effort from Rops. Does a ton of damage. That almost works. Lots of util. Okay, Dexter connects with one. Rops is still up close by the danger panel and it is definitely dangerous. He's not going to find his kill though. Body shot instead of the head. He's lost a lot of health, but it's going to be left to Bmos. Bmos does take the first. He realizes the player's cutting out. No, he does not. They are keeping this expensive. But they like a little more than that. I don't know if that's going to happen for him. Palm's making its way in towards the plant. There's still a player out by the HVAC system. Frozen. It's frozen. I'll never discount him here with a deagle. But time is the issue now, and he's lost his head. So now Acor with a USP. What can he hope to do? He's looking at the job site injury report. You know what? I don't want to be the next one. But he will be. Next casualty, at least. They're they're coming alive finally. We seen this versus OG yesterday as well as well on the second map, where they ended up then losing that 14 to 16. Smooth, yeah. And he's leading the charge. He should find out. Mid back the bomb. You get the Mac and the bomb when he's the one going in first. I don't know. Ready for this? Chill out. This could get a bit awkward. Someone's going for it. Here they come. There's the flash. There's the swing. One kill for Dexter. He's looking for more. Can't get away. Missed his moment. Couldn't have the kill on Samuya, Samuya ducking, dipping, diving, dodging. And now with Frozen down, I'll be honest, I think this should be a safe call. Most sports do not have the money right now. They'll hang back and see if someone's going to give them a kill, but I'm not sure I expect them to be aggressive. And that really should make the decision for them. 2 on 4 bomb now starting to touch dirt. B must locked out here. Rob will be able to retrieve that AWP, but they're back in the heck out. It is insane that you can just really have any flash wings. Good, does it catch? Backing off, Acor survives for the moment. Still catches bullet to the face too. And he's gonna be the peaks back through. They net one kill, do they get more? This A ramp is becoming a bit of a tomb. Big picks, and this is shut down, and they want to creep forward for more. They're not done with this just yet. Frozen's worked its way into the corner. They shouldn't expect this. And no, they don't. That's the bomb now toppled down. Now they have to battle it out. Alex will at least be able to... Now they're creeping towards safe, but at some point, Dexter's gonna look for this. He's about to spot the bomb. There's the kill in. Now he spotted the last. He knows where Smuya is. He just needs to buy the time. Dancing around the cement bags. Even swinging for it. That was a bit of an overplay. But the time's running out and they've got him on the clock. Very good on train. Immediately Vertigo. Just not as much of an offing map. Doesn't really lend itself in the same way. He's pushed into that hallway by the Molotovs. 
Coming around, finds the player close up. Good shot, equalizes the number. Now they're looking to come back and clear him. Smuya's looking for this fight. Smuya has it, but the trade is instantaneous. Bunk will be going down, but now they're pincered. One on either side. Seal trying to take the fight forward while the player's reloading, but Bimas manages to survive and manages to get the kill. Shox in a 1v1 against Bimas. Shox, bomb to play off of. Time to work with here. He must be looking for this peak, looking for this fight. There's the tap on the bomb. He's just gonna stick it. He's just gonna stick it. The madman. Shock should have this, but no, he doesn't check! He must defuses the bomb right under his nose. Flash through, better kill. Dexter has to hold the line. Mopa's ready for him. Another flash gets thrown, but this time it'll be dodged. Expected. One kill, not enough. But Frozen might just be able to follow it up. Still a tricky spot to be in. Having to make support with throwing the flashes, but the Thomas cannot get that kill. Again, an M4 back in that position off. might have just been the difference maker, but Acor is going to have to back off and say. I wonder if he'd risk making the drop down onto the little pixel ledge down below the bridge. <laughs> I want to see someone actually save there. I don't think I've ever seen it in a, mm -hmm. a live game. As well, now they got three bodies in and a fourth on the way, but there's the first kill for Steel, and that's all that matters. That's the rifle out of play, but Vimas with the Deagle. Bimas with the Deagle is the op in here to get this kill. No, Steel escapes. And Steel's going to be able to bring the pressure on towards Bimas through the flames. It doesn't matter. Three kills for Steel. What a play from a man. The op needs to get the heck out of dodge, and it can't do so. Burning alive is Rops. He is done. He is dusted. It's left to Dexter against four. Pressuring in. He will find the first, at least ending the reign of terror for Steel. His four kills be all he gets. The second kill comes in. Dexter, suddenly this enters the realm of possibility. He's hunting for it. He's on the prowl for it. Doesn't have the kit, so if he's going to try and actually win this round, he needs to go quick. Spot it out. There's the swing for the side hall. He's killed so many. Rops isn't moving just yet. He still is a statue. They're trying to indicate that player isn't here, and it's been overlooked. It's been overlooked. He's going to get Smuya for free. Not able to adjust for the second, but here's Bimas in the angle. One, two, make it three for Bimas. Can't quite find the fourth, but he's brought it down to a clutch. Shock's being chased by Dexter. Does he realize Dexter's coming over? He's looking for the fight, and he's got the shot! What a kill for Shocks! So much damage. All right, ideas. Round didn't come through. Smuya! Big first pick. They're pressuring him in, but he's got support from the teammate. Smuya just trying to turn this into a shooting gallery. They're chasing in. They don't want to let this off. Get away. Dexter's got one, and Smuya is low, and there it goes. So an advantage now found from Mouseports. That's going to prompt the response on towards B, but again, it's Rops in position. Rops just dancing around, and they're not ready for him. They're not ready for them. He's going to have two. He's going to have one at least. Spots the second, and now it's all down to Mopas. As he tries to secure this, he can do no such thing. Molly of his own. Lots of utility exchange going on here. Oh, great boost up over the danger panel. Catches Dexter completely off guard. Always a risky maneuver, but this time it works. And just a hail of flashes on sight. Blinding up Rops, blinding up Bemis, but one of their visions is going to be clear just in time. And there we go. Rops with a couple big kills. That's all they needed. They've got this presence in mid, but they need it to deliver. And first, we've already gone back. Look for it. Doesn't matter. And that now one's ahead to map three. Or for most sports, to take us to the overtime. Well, there's the spot. So that should pretty much confirm that it's the A hit that's coming through now. And as Bemis finds the first headshot, as Acor sets up as well, as they're pretty much ready for this a hit now they shouldn't struggle much at all okay they're forced to pretty much concede the bomb plant never mind pushing through as the first kill was found by acor bimas is given the space to just just head on in can't deny the bomb plant itself but it doesn't matter obviously as they take it to an overtime now 15 15 mike the off on the other side of the map with mid but here we go here's the motion here's the take Steel burns a wee smidge bit but nothing too substantial here and pressure on and applied Ix coming in or attempting to at the very least, but it's a clean sweep from Movistar so far, and it's looking oh so very good. They've That's all you can really do right now, right? Because bomb's already taken. There's no way to get in there and defuse it. With the smoke going down, it would be pretty much impossible with so many players. The steps going down the ramp, tucked in in the back corner right now. Is it going to be cleared? Mopo's not looking there initially, no. Does completely overlook it. Dexter tucks in. He can try and waste some time, but a molly is being prepared by Shocks. So he's going to be forced to swing, and well, the hope was to take one more with him, which he isn't successful in doing, but again, good damage done on top. So it is all now on Alex. One on two, and well, yeah, with no time, as you said, he had to have stuck the bomb straight away, but he needed to teleport, basically, to get that done. He won't manage to survive. Not a, an issue, considering the economy, of course, in the overtime. Oh, oh timing. timing. That is timing, horrible. Timing, Bimas timing, should now have work it. Out. He sees it. Does his teammate die first? No, no, it's fine. It should be A-OK -okay for both sports. Now, that was that had the potential to be the absolute backstab. As you said, timing brutal. But 
That works out very nicely. Steel's now standing out in the open as his smoke faded. There's a player just to his right who will eventually turn after that flash gets thrown. They were standing just, you know, face out to each other, cheeks out to the wind for a while, and Acor will finish it off. 17 to 16 at the half. And flash is dodged by Smuya. He tries to go above, but he can't land the shot, and he's careful about backing off. Even exchange so far. Here comes the crunch. Here comes the hit. Here comes potentially the massacre. Alex still stuck in towards the side hallway. They know about it, but now that they dealt with it, that should be a ball plan. Secure it. Smuya trying to line this up, but he can't find it. Shocks going above and beyond, but not far enough. Two ops to attempt the retake, both in the same angle, just trying to find a shot, trying to find a kill, and they're finding nothing. All on to Smuya now to keep Mouse Sports off of map and series point. This could be it. Smuya with the D. Can't connect for more. That's going to be it. Most uncommon was still not normally going to be pre-fired as it, as it was. So he, he was probably feeling a little bit off earlier, but he, he's definitely warmed up. And, well, Smuya, he's delivered first blood in favor of Lobby Star, but no, Shox is gone. The camera flicks away for a moment and his life is taken as it's a four on four now. As I say that, even Acor being tagged up heavily. I believe that was from mid or over on Ramp Rider. Alex also going to be SP. able to get one kill, but a good trade SP. back. Rops, as you said, he's opened up the site completely and they had already moved everyone else back. It was a little bit of a fate that had been taking place on A. Don't love that peek, though, from Rups. He wanted to push the issue and get a quick kill while they were rotating in. But they had the three on three. Now it's a disadvantage. Vimas, not expected of close, gets mollied by his teammate, which is not fun. But he is going to be able to back away now as Mopos jumps into that smoke. He needs to do more, though, because Acor is incredibly low and, well, he's not able to deliver. Oh, shot missed as well for Acor. He may not get more opportunities, but he does. Alex has gone down, the nade almost found it, the deagle will be enough, but he needs to connect this shot. It has to come down to this, and the AWP! So quick from Acor! 19 to 16 is the scoreline, Mouse Sports move on. Closing this series in 2-0 fashion, they take it, they've made it happen, they're in the lower bracket final.